guys, so today's video is going to be a natural and glowy back to school makeup tutorial. I'm trying to target high schoolers here, but you can wear this whether you're 80 years old or in third grade. Mm, yeah, you, you know what? Do whatever you want with this makeup look, but I thought it'd be perfect for the people in high school who want to go for a natural look, but do want to start wearing and experimenting with makeup because this is a pretty easy look to recreate because I suck at makeup too. So I thought if someone who sucks at makeup sucks at makeup, shows you how to do makeup, then it makes it more relatable. I'm also in high school. Really, that doesn't mean anything. I just thought that would make me more relatable. But yeah, I'm in high school, so yeah, this is a high school makeup tutorial. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you clicked on this video and you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Ava. It's so nice to meet you. And if you wanna subscribe and become a part of this amazing, beautiful, wonderful family, then don't forget to subscribe, click the button, do your thing. And also last thing before we get started, I'm really excited because I'm working with Coastal Scents on this video. So all the things that I'm using are affordable and easily accessible to you guys because I know you're in high school and you don't have all the money in the world to be spending on makeup. So all the things that I'm gonna be putting on my face are from Coastal Scents and it's affordable and all the links are down below. So, all right, let's get started. So first things first, make sure you start off with a freshly washed face and moisturize, whatever you gotta do to your skin to start off with a nice base. So now moving on to actual makeup, I always say to start off with a primer just because if you're gonna be trapped in one place for seven to eight hours, you might as well have your makeup stay on and look good. So the primer I'm gonna be using is the Coastal Scents Beginnings Face Primer. I've tried this out before and I personally have oily skin and I feel like this would be better if you had dry skin just because I think it's silicone based. So I'm putting that on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna put that all over my face, just so that we have a smooth canvas to go over with all the other makeup that we're gonna put on. So I know this is a high school makeup tutorial or whatever, but I'm not gonna be using foundation just because I want this to be a more glowy and natural look. But if you wanna wear foundation, by all means, go ahead, no one's stopping you, do it. But I'm just gonna be going ham with a concealer today because concealer can go a long way. So I'm gonna make it go a long way. I'm gonna be using the concealed, wow, how clever. The concealed palette from Coastal Scents. It has 10 concealers and six correctors, so they stepped up their game. It looks like this. You got a bunch of different shades for all your skin tone needs, you know like you at the beginning of summer versus you at the end of summer. So that's great. So I know the struggle of having under eye circles from not getting any sleep. Thank you teachers who think it's acceptable to give us four hours of homework, but concealer can fix that. So I'm gonna be taking one of these shades. I think I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna put that on my finger and put that underneath my eye, kind of in like a triangle just to conceal any darkness that I have. And this concealer blends out really nicely which is always a good thing. So I'm just putting that. Make sure you get the inner corner of your eyes too because that carries a lot of darkness. So for the color correctors, I'm not gonna touch it because I'm not a makeup artist and I don't understand why you would need a sky blue concealer, but... Yeah, so I'm not gonna touch that. All I know is that green is good for redness, so if you have redness, you can use the green. I'm gonna take the green and kind of conceal my pimples that I have right now. So just to like counteract it. You're not gonna leave it like this. You're gonna cover it with concealer after, but I wouldn't go too ham with this because you don't wanna go Shrek on everyone. I think a little bit wouldn't do any harm. So then I'm gonna take that same shade that I put underneath my eyes, pretty close to my actual skin tone and I'm gonna conceal over the green concealer. Oh, this looks so good! Mom! That's cool. You go, Coastal Scents. You're doing amazing, sweetie. So this is my face all concealed. Everything's concealed. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that's what I mean. You really don't have to use foundation unless you want to because you can always spot conceal. Plus it looks a little bit more natural and it's lighter, so. I'm actually just gonna take one of the top shades right here and use that on top of my eyelids for an eye primer for when we use eyeshadow later on. And now we're gonna be taking the blush and bronzer palette. I just realized how basic these names are. Blush and bronzer, who would have known? Woo! There's about nine different shades, I don't feel like counting right now, in this palette. 
and you can see they look like this, a lot of fun. Yes. I'm gonna be taking this angled brush and I'm gonna take this matte, like matte, matte, dark, deep, uh, matte brown color, put a little bit of that, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of that like shimmery brown because we're going for that glowy look, so might as well. And then I'm just gonna contour like how I normally would. I'm not gonna contour, I'm just gonna kind of bronze a little bit. Oh! I'm loving this. This is, looks so good. Now with this brush, this is more of like a taper, actually, I don't even know what this is called, but you can see it. So I'm gonna be using that for blush, and I'm gonna be taking this coral shade that's right here and uh, put that on my cheeks. I think coral blushes or just like peachy blushes are just make you look so happy and alive and not dead, which is pretty nice. And then I'm gonna be taking the highlighter that's right here and I'm gonna be using that with the same brush because why not? And I'm just gonna put that mostly on like my, oh, yes! Wow, who is she? Now moving on to my favorite part, which is eyebrows. So I'm gonna be taking the brow palette and it has four different brow shades to choose from. I'm just gonna do that and fill them in how I normally fill them in. So pretty naturally, I'm just gonna fill in any sparse areas. So this is how I do my brows. You can do them however you like to do yours. But now I'm gonna be moving, moving on into the Coastal Scents Revealed palette and it just looks like this. It's all matte shades, which is amazing because I think matte looks more natural, obviously, if you have bright glitter on your lids. Most people aren't born like that. So mattes, I think if you wanna go natural, they're the way to go. So the first shade that I'm going to take is, uh, I don't know, this one right here? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, I'm gonna mix these ones. These three actually, why not? Let's just do it. This is gonna go on my lid with this brush right here. And then with this brush, this is more of like a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to be taking this brown right there and I'm just gonna be, ooh, okay. I'm gonna be putting that into my crease. And then I'm gonna be taking this, it's more of like a mauve -y taupe kind of color and I'm just gonna be putting that wherever it's kind of just wherever the brush takes me because why not uh yeah it's just, just you know all over it's cool all right yeah that works whatever looks good do it go for it I'm boring and I don't know how to do eyeshadow so that's all I'm gonna do but I'm gonna move on into eyeliner this is the coastal sense express line in this brown shade which oh I'm so sorry about this lighting hold on one sec um brown is perfect for looking natural because brown is natural. Natural is brown. So this is what we've got. Um, I kind of smudged it out a little bit, so it's kind of not smoky, but it just is smudged out, so it looks a little bit more natural. Next, I'm just gonna curl my lashes before I put on mascara. Now for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Envision Volume Mascara, also from Coastal Scents, and it's in this bougie gold packaging. I'm obsessed with it, so I'm just gonna put that on my top and bottom lashes. And yeah, if you're wondering why my lashes don't look full, it's because I wore waterproof mascara the other day and then when I was taking it off with my makeup wipes, I ripped out a couple fat chunks because it wouldn't come off. And then for lips, uh, I personally am not the type to really wear lip products, but if you wanna go for it, go for it. So I'm gonna be using the Lip Tubes Lip Gloss in the shade Coral. And y'all know how I feel about coral, so I'm just gonna put on a little bit. Uh, oh, dang. Okay, wait. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like wearing lip stuff because it's so sticky and I don't like that. I just don't like the feeling of lip gloss. I just don't like it. But I mean, it's fun, it's flirty, it's cute, so, you know, gotta live that teenage dream. All right, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you take inspiration from it or whatever, I don't know if you recreate it or something, then let me know on any of my social medias if y'all ever wanna talk. DM me on Instagram because I try to reply to all of you and we have conversations and it's really just a good time. 
So do that. And also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video to become a part of our amazing family. And that's it. So I hope you guys have an amazing, beautiful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to smile or be the reason someone else smiles today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.